This is an important message to the people of China, America, Australia, and the world. Right here, right now, we're going to find out just how good or bad this design of turbine is in a way that we can all understand. We will be testing two designs, A, a conventional type, and two, my own invention type, using a 50 watt electrical pedestal fan to provide the wind, we're going to see how much weight these turbines can actually lift using a line around their 8mm spindles. This is a 150th scale model with a 1 meter high tower. The blades are 25 inches long, giving it a 1,500 square inch sweep area. I call this the Active Collection Area, or ACA for short. The weighted lifts will give us a fairly accurate measurement of the amount of continuous torque being produced per square inch ACA. The fan is positioned at centre height, one metre from the turbine, and activated using the full power switch. We shall give three inches of slack to allow the turbine to reach top speed, then try to lift 500 grams or 0.6 pound bag of sugar. Let the experiment begin. As you see, the device is struggling to lift 500 grams. That is less than 0.35 grams per square inch ACA. Next, we will test my invention type B. It has an 18 inch tower height and a 430 square inch ACA. That's 3.5 times less than this conventional type. It can be built from ordinary building materials uh, and is designed to last 100 years minimum with very little maintenance. A safe tower height of 10 metres would give it an ACA of 168,000 square inches and cost £20,000 to £25,000 to build. Let's begin the experiment. My device can easily lift 3 kilograms, or 3.6 pound in weight. That is almost 7 grams per square inch ACA, 20 times more efficient than the conventional type, and costs 20 times less to build. Vesta, you should stop making these. CDM, no more subsidies. Australia, you should cancel that 1.8 billion order. China, you need to look deeper into this, and America, for God's sake, do the math. These things are useless and mad, and I believe this is commercially viable. Thanks for your time.